So in order to share your session across multiple subdomains within your Indominus JS application, there's actually a really small tweak that you need to make in order to get that to actually work. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like whenever you don't have the tweak in place so that you can recognize what's going on. So let's go ahead and log in here within our application. Um, I'm using LVH.me. It's what I prefer to use whenever I'm working with subdomains locally. Uh, it's just another alias for localhost. Uh, all just points to 127.0.0.1. The only difference is this version has a TLD of .me. So we're logged in. We can verify that because we see a logout button. If we go over into our subdomain here, we just said app.lbh.me. If we give that a refresh, you can see it looks the exact same. If we were to actually set up a route here, let's jump to the project and let's do route.get, just point it to the home path. We can do a function, get the CTX, return CTX off user, and then email. And then let's lastly rig this up to a domain. Now, what I'd like to do for my domains is register it within my environment variable. So I'll jump into my EMV here, underneath host, I'll add in a domain, and I'll just set this to lbh.me. If you're working with localhost, set it to localhost. And then obviously in production, this will be whatever your domain is. So let's give that a save. I'm also going to add that into my emv.ts. So domain, emv, schema, string, since we've altered our environment variables, we will want to go ahead and restart our server. And it looks like the error I got is just for a duplicate route because we haven't actually set that domain yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's jump back into our routes here for the domain. I'm just going to do app dot, and then we'll grab our env. Let's go ahead and import it. So env from at IOC Adonis for env. Come back down here and do dot get and reach for that domain property. Give that a save. Since we've already rebooted our server since changing our environment variables, we should be good to go ahead and jump back into our browser, give it a refresh, and we get a blank page um, just so that we get something back whenever we're not authenticated. Let's go ahead and put no authenticated user there. So now let's go ahead and give that a refresh. And there is our no authenticated user. Okay, cool. So we have that in place. We are authenticated on one tab, not on the other. Now, the reason this is happening is if we jump back to the tab that we're authenticated with and we take a look at our application under here, cookies, you can see here our Adonis session. Now, this is what actually keeps track of our authenticated user whenever we're using sessions for our authentication. And over here on the domain side of things, you can see the domain set to lvh.me. Now, this is strictly bound to just the lvh.me. If we were working with subdomains, it wouldn't take place. So what we need to do here is just kind of prefix this with a dot. The dot will serve as sort of a wild card so that we can have any subdomain work with our session as well as the main lvh.me domain as well. So the way that we can do that is if we jump back into our application, we go up to config underneath app, and then we scroll down just a brief bit underneath the HTTP config. There should be a cookie object here that has a domain property. Within this domain property, we can prefix our environment variable domain with the period. So we'll just do backticks here, dot, and then we'll grab our emv dot get, and then provide our domain. Now, just doing that one change out of the box isn't going to work for our use case. So if we were to actually refresh here, You'll see that we're still logged in, but if we go back to our previous tab, refresh, nothing's changed. And that's because our prior Adonis session cookies are still in place. If we were, however, to go ahead and just clear out the cookies for both of these tabs, let's go ahead and refresh. We're gonna have to log in again. You'll see that our Adonis.js session is now pointed to dot lvh.me. So now whenever we log in, our session should be shared across all of our subdomains and in this case, both of our tabs. So if we go ahead, log back in, you'll see that we're logged in here. Our session is still .lvh.me. If we go back to our other tab here where we were using that subdomain of app, give it a refresh. Now we see our authenticated user's email. And if we go into inspect here, underneath the application, you can see our cookie is pointed to that .lvh.me there as well. And so that's how you can share your authentication or session state across all your subdomains within your Adonis.js application. Just that really small tweak is all that you need. So hopefully you found this lesson helpful. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below and subscribing for future lessons just like this one. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a great one, everybody.